big slab of wood, a bunch of maple branches. Let's do a quick recap of how we got here. Hey, what are you doing with that piece there? It's going in the garbage trailer. This, this one here? Which one? Right here. Oh, it's going on your truck. Yes, it is. Garbage. This, this is not garbage. This is, this is my new uh, outdoor coat rack. You want some railroad spikes to put in it? Uh, no, I got uh, maple hooks you might remember. Oh yeah, you did bring a bunch of garbage home. <laughs> well, brother Brian dropped a bunch of trees. These are all my ends here for, for firewood, but they're maple. And what I like about maple is the, uh, the branch hooks. I like to uh, collect all the branch hooks for wood crafts and coat hangers and uh, coat racks and just all kinds of different crafts. This is like the target. So stuff like this, I'm gonna cut them after they're dry, put a board against it, cut it on the bandsaw, take, make a flat back on it, and then uh, you've got your, your coat hook here. Well, I gotta stop. I'm getting carried away. Got way too many, but nice to have a variety. And that's how we're here. Now, gonna make a note right off the bat. Again, not fine furniture. This is something I'm gonna put outside on my porch I have a boy who works in a uh, pig farm and his overalls and his coat and stuff stinks like you wouldn't believe and uh, for anything that needs to dry or whatever I want to just make a quick rough and dirty uh, exterior coat rack and uh, I'm not going to pay a penny for it so we're going to use our branch hooks and this slab of pine and we're going to make a little outside uh, coat rack. Looking at my board here kind of funny how I got these little uh, swales and dips where the uh, branches are but I think uh, if I want to go roughly four feet that's so kind of going to be centered here and I'll center it on this one so then we got the outside edges are going to flare up and you're going to have a little center hub there so I'm going to cut this off at about four feet right off the bat here chunk of wood here now we got all these uh, branch hooks and this is just seriously just a fraction of them and these are still green I know that and uh, so is this wood so that's what I say we're not making furniture it's just something rustic outside and it'll dry and maybe even crack but I don't care <laughs> but the idea with the hooks is we're gonna stagger the hooks so in nature and outside like nothing grows in straight lines perfectly so just like these hooks, I want them either to be higher or lower than each other, staggered. Some will have two, some will be crooked, some will just put crooked on purpose. Just mix them up, but you know, probably every six to eight inches across this board, we're going to put the uh, hooks. But first thing we're going to do is uh, cut them to size. And uh, height-wise, probably nothing is going to be over you know, four and a half inches on the back. And that's what we're going to cut and we're going to put a flat back on them so that they'll sit flat and then we'll just mount them to the wood. All right. So I'm going to make a whole whack of these on the bandsaw and uh, come back and uh, lay it out.
bunch of these hooks cut. We're just going to lay them all out. We're going to have to make them all fit, but we just want the, uh, the right amount of quirkiness. Just going to mix them up a little bit. Have some going one way, one going the other way. <laughs> yeah, I got lots here. Lots. Just playing a little game of what looks best. The double one is fun, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Let's switch this one here. I'm just going to take my knife and uh, just going to shave off the ends. I'll probably adjust some of the coat, the hook lengths and whatnot too. I'm just going to work all the way around. Just chamfer up all the edges. You know, just take all the, uh, the hard edges off. Do a little bit of whittling around there. And I'm just prepping that. I'm going to put a little uh, pilot hole on the uh, top and the bottom. I'm going to put two screws in. This board is two inches thick. If that board was only about an inch thick, I would go from the back side maybe and put a screw in so you wouldn't see any of the holes. But I've got brown screws and, uh, yeah, I don't really care. So I'm going to go through and, uh, like I said, just take all the sharp edges off and, uh, yeah, make each one look, make each one look good, I guess you say. No, no order whatsoever. Different heights staggered. We don't want all the all the crotches in a row either. We want them up and down. So I think we're getting there. What we've got here is a uh, a countersink bit. So it's a pilot hole with a little countersink. I got my impact drill. I'm just gonna put some little exterior screws through it. So. Let's just take one that I know I want where it's going to be. I'm just going to uh, pre drill that hole. See what that does? A little pre drilled hole with the countersink. I'm just going to put that back on there. Bob's your uncle. Alright, so I'm going to work my way all the way across here and get these all uh, pre-drilled and uh, screwed on. Alright folks, here it is. One extremely rustic exterior coat rack. This is something that, like I said before, I normally wouldn't film this kind of stuff, but uh, it'll give you some ideas and uh, give you something to watch. So I'm going to go find a place to uh, mount this outside and we'll wrap it up. Oh.
Things a tank. Now the uh, the boy can hang up his stinky stuff out here, and it won't be in the house, and uh, it's a win-win again. So anyway, this is just one more use, quick and dirty, simple little uh, project. But uh, yeah, I have these things all around my property, all around my house, and you can't beat a free maple branch hook for uh, everyday stuff. So there you go. Hope you like it, and I will. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> See you next time.